You may have heard of GMOs. Most people don't fully understand them, nor the impact across the globe. In the U.S., GMOs are in as much as 80% of conventional processed foods, mostly engineered for herbicide and insecticide tolerance. GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, are living organisms whose genetic material has been modified or artificially manipulated in a laboratory. This relatively new science creates unstable combinations of plant, animal, bacteria, and viral genes that do not occur normally in nature. We, as consumers don't know the long-term harm of GMOs and in most cases do not know which products are GMO modified because the products we buy are not being labeled properly. If we want to protect what we ingest in our bodies and our environment, we need to get all the facts. Despite biotech industry promises, none of the GMO-modified foods currently on the market offer any increased yields, drought tolerances, enhanced nutrition, or any other consumer benefit. Here is the tragic part. A growing body of evidence is connecting GMOs with health problems, environmental damage, and violation of farmers' and consumers' rights. In the U.S., the government has approved GMOs based on studies conducted by the same corporations that created them and profit from their sales. So more and more Americans are taking matters into their own hands and choosing to opt out of the GMO experiment. Around the world, more than 60 countries have put significant restrictions or bans on the production and sale of GMOs. Polls show most Americans want to know if the products we buy have GMOs. According to a recent CBS New York Times poll, 53% of consumers said they would not buy food that has been genetically modified. Companies are constantly working to put products on the market with low-risk GMOs like rice, corn, and flax, as well as salmon and apples. For example, dried fruits we buy contain GMO oil to keep the fruit moist for a long time. Do you want this in your food? Since the long-term impacts of GMOs remain unknown and pose a serious threat to farmer sovereignty and to the national food security of any country where they are grown, you need all the facts. Want to learn how you can avoid GMOs? Get the new book, The Whistleblower's Confession by Jennifer Lang. In this political thriller, Kelly Anderson, an investigative reporter who, after the death of her aunt to cancer, discovers that the American people have been used as guinea pigs for years. The Whistleblower's Confession, available in bookstores and online now. Your health may depend on knowing the whole story.